Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World of Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the integrated trailer control module fuse is located, where you can find it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channel that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. So the integrated travel control module fuse, where you can guys expect to find it, we will demonstrate on this generation Dodge Ram right here. You have multiple uh, places where you have fuse boxes, but we need to go ahead and open the hood and under the hood guys, come to the driver's side, you see that cover right in front of the car battery? Okay, that cover right here has two notches, one here, one there, press them, it opens and inside it you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse pour and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to... I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not you may not clearly see it so always guys test them because if you don't test the fuse you assume it's good you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. For the integrated trailer control module, we need to check up to two fuses, not one, but two guys. You wonder where they're located, let's zoom in a little bit. The first fuse that you need to check will be fuse number 11, we're talking about this fuse right here, the second fuse for the integrated travel control module guys will be known as fuse number 87 and we're talking about this fuse right here so 11 and 87 hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time